Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and we're going to be talking about Dennis McKinley today because I still just cannot get over that finale that last episode of Portia Family Matters and I just don't want Dennis to get railroaded I mean come on we know Dennis yeah he's a wayward dick person but Portia uh, Candy tried to tell you about Dennis and all of that and, and he wasn't finished playing uh, <coughs> or so he wasn't finished sewing his oats out there so you saw an a, a opportunity and an opportunity an opportunity an opportunity to get with a guy a successful businessman who had several businesses and you just saw money and you saw mm, I can get pregnant by this dude and uh, live my forever ever after but you've been trying to get married and, and pregnant by so many people prior to Dennis is ridiculous so <coughs> this video is for you Dennis okay because you know what kind of woman you were messing with Portia Flaws okay she's a TV junkie she's a hoe for the industry okay and she's a hoe for trying to solidify the bag meaning you were the one that got caught but like i said if you didn't really want to get caught you would have rubbed up you would have uh, covered up you know what i'm saying so you saw potential in portion you saw what she wanted you to see far as her attitude she's a master manipulator okay she's lies she's party too much she party travel too much she's too out there in them streets from the street shoot found her to the street she shall return her because her mother i don't know filled her a fantasy dream that she could have it all this that and the third and portia is just hurting herself and anybody that come in line to stopping her from what she wants to get okay it's it goes way back in childhood and i know you were trying to respect her mom and her mom's wishes and you're trying to respect your mom and her wishes uh as far as his co-parenting and thing or just where the end result would be mama is good to you miss gina because she's telling you hey you can have a successful relationship with Portia, just leave her alone because she don't want to sign the prenup she don't want to make sure everybody's good all the way around she's only looking out for herself but she's not gonna stop me from seeing my granddaughter and that's my only ch grandchild too so we need to handle it the legal way so i understand about you taking a back you taking a back seat looking at everything from your mama's perspective from what you do know about Portia and you're trying to balance it all together but Portia really just totally disrespected you last night and I'm glad you found yourself in the court of law trying to figure things out uh amicably because you're dealing with somebody who's not rational and shout out to the jasmine brand go check her out on her channel okay very good blogger very good documentator very good source um to cite um these uh, entertaining stories for the celebrities okay but portia is just out there on her own she's a hurt woman until she started dealing with her hurt instead of who hurt her she need to deal with why she allowed them to hurt her and it goes back to childhood uh because i'm definitely seeing it in the book her mom and her dad hurt her in ways we can't imagine mentally okay so the the dream that dennis and portia had for themselves and combining both families was a admirable thing to do but when you got two people that's so different from each other uh, the values are different the morals are different the parents are different in how they raise their children it becomes a bit of a calandrium okay so um right now Portia's just doing way 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 too much and i think it's going to be more so detrimental on baby pj because she's not she don't really know where to come where to go only thing i know when she with Portia when she's on a good day and Portia's not forcing her to film she's good but we've seen also when it's bad for PJ when she don't want to be bothered with no camera she seems like she always looking out to the side because somebody's filming her and they trying to talk to her and she's like damn who are these damn people you know what I'm saying can I get some consistency can I get some cameramen camera women producers that I'm going to have to look in their face all the time. Could they be the same damn people and not be different? Because it's, it's messing with me. And then I'm going to have to holler and, and act out. And then, you know, people going to speculate this, that, and the third. I can just hear PJ's uh, brain and, and when I'm looking at her. But when she's with Dennis, uh, just Dennis solely, she's so playful. She loves her dad. It's just like that's her big kid that she, she comes to love and enjoy. And she loves it. 
But my problem is I'm kind of scared because this man scares me in ways that I'm thinking as a parent, like PJ's my child. And I don't know nothing about this man because I just really met him. And then Portia want to have both worlds. She want to have me, then she want to have Simon. And I'm downright uh, correct with Mama Gina. She want both of y'all. She want to see how far she can get her big payday on. And she ain't letting neither one of y'all go. Not really. But And you probably still love her too, son. But you need to, you know, wake up, smell the coffee, get more paperwork on her uh that's going to be on your side because we, we don't deal in verbal shit not when it comes to legality and the law we need shit on paper so you know he's just so i, I love it when i see men really into their children into their children lives and he's like the epitome of a good dad now i'm only going by what they show me on tv and what I've heard on them streets and this, that, and the third. He may have a wayward dick. But he ain't out there trying to impregnate a lot of people either. At least that's what I'm hearing. Not sure if, you know, some things happened where he was with some women. And they were like, you know, uh, I need you to marry me or I ain't going to keep your baby. You know, I, I don't know about all that. Because that's not put in front of me to judge. Or not necessarily judge, but to evaluate. But Portia had it all. Her thing is she cannot let go of the cheating i'm like damn your mama let go of the cheating hell he even lived long enough to marry somebody else but she never tried to uh talk bad about your dad or did she girl did she and you just didn't put it in a book and you're not talking about it because you're damaged you just felt like you you you're the only one that ever got hurt you're the only one that a man cheated on you don't i mean you know your story is probably identical to several other women out there a million other women out there they probably was pregnant too and they spouse went out and got them somebody else to release their uh sperm into or uh, release their inhibitions and do sex and they came back to you do you know how many women out there like that portion they had to let that go or not we don't even know but we're talking about you we're focusing on you and your storyline okay let the shit go you either gonna forgive dennis and move on because the, the, the whole thing of you talking about that damn robe that that he cheated on you why you were pregnant hell you could have been in a coma and it would have been no lesser degrading okay the man cheated get the fuck over it move on because if that's the case you're gonna have all this stuff trickle down to your daughter when her boyfriend cheat on her and she may not even be pregnant at the time but she's gonna be messed up because you're messed up i mean is diane messed up okay i don't, I don't understand what this whole thing was he cheated again i did i did no it, it, the family still like him okay and my god you set him down with your mama with your sister and y'all just blared into him now what man gonna do that a real 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 strong 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 man gonna sit there and let you talk to him about what he did as far as cheating and he's gonna finish the dinner okay I, I, i'm not understanding and uh quiet as it's kept loud so i'm gonna speak it out they said you had sex with bolo when you were down there with cynthia bailey trying to do her um bridal shower that candy was throwing for her I mean, I'm sure the walls could talk, and I'm sure you could have been in some infractions yourself. But going back, like I said, the uh, the Portia flaws, that this is why Dennis need to go and get full custody, if not partial custody. But some custody arrangements need to be put in place in the uh, in, in DeKalb County or Fulton County Courthouse. Okay, something need to be ruled so both parties amicably can raise their daughter receptively or respectfully okay because her trying to put dennis in mexico jail because of what storm said and portia talking to dennis mom over in mexico you know what she did and doing all that hollering and carrying on just totally disrespecting her elders and portia know better she just won't do better so we need to have some lines drawn up okay we need to have some lines drawn up so uh going back I acknowledge Portia to be a TV junkie. Uh, I always want to be in front of the camera. She's a hoe for the industry. Uh, she's a master manipulator. She lies. She parties too much to be her age. Part of time it should be over. Only thing she should be worried about is making that money and, and building a, a, a beautiful relationship with her daughter. Okay? And being very, very respectful to her dad okay um she parties 
and she travels too much for partying. You know, she had no business going out, and it's just my opinion. She had no business going out on New Year's Eve partying over there in uh Miami, Florida, when the rates of COVID is so high over there, just like it is in Atlanta. And we were really booming with the higher rates going up when she called herself going over there, cause she got to got to release herself. She has to part. No, you have to be a mother first and foremost. Okay, you say you're a child of God. Your partying day should be over with all that, you know, showing your tits, your breasts, your butt, you know, anything you want to just flaunt out. That should be done with. The partying time should be done with. You should be raising your family, getting your income up, and enjoying family life. This single party life you're trying to go, it should be non-existent at this point, Portia. Um, she loves the light, ni- night life too much, okay? She fights with other adults. When she can't get away, she fights some of her family members. I don't know if it's had verbally or it's, uh, some uh, physical altercation that we can't catch on film, okay? But I'm sure her family member probably can come out with, yeah, she be getting down with the paws on her family members too. Uh, she put in uh, men and a boyfriend around your daughter that she doesn't really know. We're talking about Simon. We don't know nothing about this Simon. Only about what they're telling us and it don't. It don't feel or look kosher. You know what I'm saying? It's like he has no stability. So how is he going to take care of your child plus Portia? And we really don't even know where his income come from. You see what I'm saying? And he has some questionable behavior why he got deported. So Dennis, all of this I'm telling you, use it in the court of law to solidify yourself. I hope, I want for you to be the sole provider. I mean, the sole whole custody and let Portia have had. Because it don't seem like she can get her life together with a two cents. And I say that with whole honesty because I really do believe the mother needs to have the child. But when the mother is like Portia, no, we can't throw caution to the wind because we're talking about a child. And then we're talking about a child being around a man that Portia hardly even knows. We don't know what his background is. Okay, we, we just don't know. Okay, we a little pervert running around now. Then she's disrespectful to your mom and the elders, period. Okay. She really is just, just totally disrespectful. She has no morals. She has no values. She has no scruples. Even though she should have had them from birth. Somebody should have been teaching it between her mother and her dad. But then we all know how her dad was, you know, just crazy with his uh, fooling around, cheating, lying, and all this kind of stuff. Uh, she's unstable with her emotions. You know, she, her, she has ma- anger management issues. They both tie in together. She hasn't got none of control since she's been on Real Housewives of Atlanta. She's been putting paws on people on film. You know what I'm saying? On camera. And we just been giving her passes and passes and passes. But you can't do that and call yourself a true adult that's responsible. That's crazy. Okay? Um, at this time, her employment is unstable. She quit two of her professional jobs that she had. All throwing caution to the wind because she don't met this man that she feels is a billionaire. And he's going to take care of her. What? No. No, no, no. The man could die. The man could not help uh, put you in his will uh, for whatever reason. Uh, you have no income, then what you running back? You running back to your baby daddy, who's definitely secure. He's stable with the income. He's a, he has a place, has always had a place of his own. He's shown us that he can definitely raise PJ in a healthy environment, in a healthy state of mind. And then you're traveling over, you know, he has mentioned last night you were traveling to London. What's that? What's all that about? Were you doing PR for your book or whatnot? Then you having her travel with you. That's not the type of life to have your daughter going around to hotel to hotel and being with people while you're on stage or you're signing book stuff. That, that's not good. And where was Simon? Evidently, you didn't trust him enough because he wasn't around with you and your daughter and taking care of her while you were doing what you needed to do. She was with your mama. Okay, and why your mama always gotta have? She can be with on um, Gina just because you have some ill heart feel, uh, for her doesn't mean that she's mistreating your daughter. I mean, her, your daughter don't love her because she do have two grandmamas. She might well get the love from both of them. Okay, because they're not gonna be here all the time. She need to have some memories. She needs to have memories on both sides. Okay, because even if y'all were together, you would be spending time with both of them separately. You see what I'm saying, Portia? But you don't, you, I, I don't understand where you're coming from, baby. Just because you don't like the mother of the da- baby daddy. That's your business. They ain't got nothing to do with her. Just know she's not harming the child. And it doesn't seem like she has any ill 
feelings towards her granddaughter that's her first grandchild too girl please anyway uh she's verbally and physically abusive she will use anyone including her daughter to get what she wants and i really do believe that because she plays you too well and, and she was you know saying nice things about you but then when things blew up in mexico and everybody started loving you and not her she want to make up all these different other scenarios that are for the negative towards you and you know it's crazy i mean the way she thinks the way she talks the way she feels that's an emotionally hurt person and to me i think she still have feelings for you but right at this point she can't pass up her other billion dollar uh nest egg that she's trying to solidify with um simon which is a false reality i'm like baby girl get your own have your own so you can choose love over anything else you say you godly woman, but you're going out here and do, uh, participating in all this other spirituality type stuff, conjuring up all these different entities and all that stuff. That's not good for you, and it's not good for PJ. Are you listening, Dennis? Are you listening, baby? Okay, then, you know, Portia's up at this point where she loves superstardom. Um more than raising her daughter and she says she wants to have that family environment she wants to be a housewife she wants to serve her community this that and the third uh she wants to get back more into her grandfather's um organization uh for feed, jose feed the hungry she want to educate people more about that but then she wants to be the super stardom jet setter uh personality celebrity out there and you can't do both of them i'm sorry the best of them have tried and they have failed sh miserably you're gonna have to focus on one main thing that you love you care about and deal with that and live with that but Portia feels like she gotta have that life first to be able to have the life that she wants to be uh like a family and it's just so confusing to be living her world in her mind uh, she just has this Jezebel spirit attached to her where it's all about what she wants, what she desires, what she needs, and, and that's it. The other stuff is just secondary. She got to have that first. And it's all about self. The child is totally lost. So, Dennis, I gave you, ooh, let me see, almost 20 flaws of Portia. Portia, that she is not going to be able to be communicatable with. So you're going to have to do your due diligence. Keep moving forward. Seek soul custody, son. Seek soul custody. Uh, that's what I would do if I had my son, you know, like you. Because, you know, if the woman just can't forgive you, she can't move on. It's an old dead issue about you cheated and this, that, and the third. That's her. That's her headache. Because you don't say that you were sorry. You don't try to do what you had to do. But right now, at this point, she has a man. So why is she still, you know, on you about that shit? She says she don't want to be with you no more. She said the doors closed on that relationship it's not a triangle effect she's with simon this is simon what she want to be this that and the third so you need to secure your peace of mind that this man's gonna do right by your daughter even if he was keeping your daughter while portia was going to the store she had to go you know the film or whatever she was doing and that her daughter was very comfortable being around him like she's very comfortable with you he needs to see that and if she's not showing that or you're not seeing that when they're together, that's a problem. That is a, a real problem. He needs to have supervised visits when he's around your daughter. Period and point blank. Until you feel comfortable. And then with Portia going out here and talking about she's finding schools and she don't want to give you the address of where your daughter's gonna be residing with them, uh, through this whole co parenting thing. It, it's 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 just, it's frightening because anything can happen to her and you don't even know where she at, where you can get to her. You know what I'm saying? Because Portia's playing all these stupid childhood games. And, you know, that's another reason why I really do feel you need soul custody. I said, because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. She just can't get over the emo emotional baggage that she can't have you no more. And the reason why she can't have you no more is because of her own faults, her own insecurities. I mean, how many times she's going to bring up, you cheated on me. Simon wouldn't have cheated on me. Simon definitely wouldn't have cheated on me with the help uh and, and putting it all up in my face and and lying about it i'm like you don't know what he would have done portia did you talk to his other two wives okay you only going on fouling situation and then he told you he cheated before but you were like oh you would never cheat on me no i would never you gonna believe that shit that's another line that's another line from your past men you were dealing with okay i'm like you're you're 40 years old it's no more growing up
It's no more maturing for you. You're either going to do it or you're not going to do it. And right now you're on this road or you don't want to do it. And that's a dangerous game, especially when you're trying to raise a daughter. A daughter that's two years old. And you just like excluding or trying to cut out Dennis' uh, uh, raising um, abilities to help you with y'all's daughter. With y'all doing it 50-50 to make that 100%. You see what I'm saying? Because it's going to be a sad and a cold day in hell when your daughter grow up with this man and she know how distant and disconnected she is with him. Possibly, she going to want to go live with her daddy when she gets, oh, let me see how these children are growing up real fast. Probably when she's in elementary, she's going to be like, I, I, I want to live with my daddy, my biological dad. Then what you going to do then? You're going to be hurt. You're going to be trying to look at Simon or why she don't want to stay with us. What's going on then? Nope, too late. That's why you need to secure the bag, meaning secure custody of your child now. So you'll have peace of mind. We'll have peace of mind. And, and of course, you just got to get a peace of mind because that, that's, that's a hot mess. It's such a hot mess, okay? But that's all I got for this video, guys. If y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Make sure you, when you come in the house, okay, give me love, hugs, and kisses. Hit that like button, okay? And when you finish talking to me and you just tired, you want to go home, kick it, you know, by yourself and relax, relate, release, and get in that bed and go to sleep. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you hadn't at the time. And definitely share my videos, guys, okay? But I'll see y'all next video. Take care. Bye-bye.